The Bad Chatillon 25 ton is a French tier 10 medium tank. The experimental tank was a further development of the AMX-13. The tank underwent trials but never entered mass production, nor saw service. Only two vehicles were ever manufactured. In World of Tanks it is a tier 10 medium autoloader tank. And let's see how it fares in some gameplay. Hello guys and so welcome back to World of Tanks Ace Tanker series and as you can see today we'll be driving the Pet Chatelion 25 ton on the Abbey map and driving for us today is Hero. So my, you might remember Hero from his couple of previous replays and this is actually an older replay it's a 9.15.1 and I didn't get to this replay well you know that uh, I had those problems with the 9.15.1 and Wargaming just blowing that all away for the replays so the replays were not working and this one just stayed behind unfortunately I didn't get to it but now when we have the opportunity to make a replay in 9.15.1 we are getting back to this one and this is going to be a great demonstration of the possibilities of the batch at 25 ton and well a great demonstration of the hero's uh, abilities in this tank as well so yeah as you can see he is taking the abbey immediately at the beginning this position is probably well known to all of those players that usually go to the abbey so this position can control the uh, you saw that the line on the d8 d7 and that uh, m46 career pattern just he shouldn't have gone there he is now in a bad position because he is getting spotted by the AI-7 and the T-10 E5 has him on the side I believe from that position so that pattern is not going to last there much, very long but as you saw there the Batchet, the enemy Batchet artillery did a great job he killed a friendly T-44 and that's the first casualty in this replay now what Harrow is doing here he is well you can see that he cannot use the position that he was in so he decides to go into a better position from which he can do some damage now this is an interesting climb if you haven't well if you don't know about this climb this is something that you can use in your games it's an interesting climb you do need a fast tank to do this but i believe that you can do it in almost any scout and as you can see you can do it in the batchet so the position allows you to go into this position this position is good as you can shoot on the enemy tanks that are in the enemy base camping as this grilly is. Fortunately Harry gets spotted here but good two good shots in the grilly 15 and now yeah baiting the shot from the grilly 15 the grilly misses and he tracks the grilly. Four kills sorry four shots into the grilly and that's his first kill. Now immediately he goes for the reload I didn't talk much about the tank so you probably know all about the Batchet, even if you don't own the Batchet you probably know everything about this tank so yeah there is 5 shells in the container those 5 shells do 390 average with each shell and the penetration is with the standard shells I believe it's 256 or something like that so you're going to penetrate your tanks quite easily and if you are stuck into a bad place you can always load heat so the hero has a well, I, I use the same setup, so same ammo choice as he does. I also have 25 APCR and 5 heat shells. Those 5 heat shells really you are going to shoot only if you need to penetrate, let's say for example a E100 or the Ag Panzer E100 now. He has a nice shot on this Panther 2. He is trying to finish off the Panther 2, but he had to go forward, that's why he missed here. So he had to go forward because this IS-7 was trying to find a shot on him. Now still aiming for the Panther 2, finds the angle, finishes the Panther 2 and immediately goes for the reload. So yeah, th this is something that you have to do. You can unload your clip onto the enemy tanks. In this case the Panther 2, in the previous case that was the Grilla 15. And after that you go for the reload. Now he is still in this position, why? Because he is spotting on the enemy IS-7 and the T-44 so if the artillery was in position to shoot here he would probably shoot there 
but still spotting on the enemy tanks is pretty important at this point of the game because even though you are reloading you can be of use to your friendly tanks so yeah always try and spot with your bad chat play it like a scout tank when you're reloading now a great positioning here he goes to surround the i7 and the t44 finishes off the t44 unfortunate here two shots into the side in the back of the i7 they didn't penetrate but the next two penetrate and the tvp t5051 does the rest of the job on the i7 so that i7 was in a bad position there he well he got surrounded there i really don't know why he went down there why he didn't push up towards the bad chat but yeah they they pushed down and they didn't push fully so that that's what you can expect and as they were finishing off this side as you can see the enemies have just pushed through the other side so the Ag Panzer E100 and the T10E4 were protecting the 9 line so there was no chance for the friendly team to just go through that line and everything that went through that line is now dead. Now as you can see the Ag Panzer pulled back and this position from Haro is pretty dangerous because he is getting spotted here from the medium tanks and the tank destroyers so he needs to be careful if he goes out and he gets spotted he is going to get destroyed. This position is good if you do not get spotted but as soon as you get spotted you have to move you have to relocate you have to save your tank save your hp and as you can see they are losing this game they are two tanks in disadvantages so yeah everything that they do has to be calculated they cannot take risks now the problem is they control this part of the map as you can see here but they have the enemy well two enemy tanks that are near their base so only thing that Haro can do here is now is go back and try and deal with those tanks. So the positioning of the TVP is pretty good here, but he is, I believe he is going to go with Haro to defend the friendly cap from the enemy tanks. Now the Batchet is, the, I'm talking about the Batchet artillery, so the Batchet artillery is doing the sensible thing here. He is not going to stay in that position and let the enemy heavy tanks to get to it, tank destroyers to get to it and finish it off so he is relocating, playing really nicely here this patch of artillery he is going to relocate and he is going to try and help out on the enemy tanks that are in the cap so the T-10E4 as you can see T-10E4 finishes off the MX-30B and the patch artillery finishes off the T-10E4 not so great move there by the artillery now hero based shot here from the T-10E5 one shot into the lower plate now going for the second shot into the lower plate third shot into the lower plate and he gets the help here from the artillery once again but he was able to finish off the E5 with the last shot shot here finish him off and now well, the situation is not that bad they have still 3 tier 10 tanks one of them being the artillery though but 3 tier 10 tanks that are on full HP almost and one tier 8 that's the T10 sorry the 110 so yeah the the probably the the worst thing that can happen to them is that the tank destroyers are advancing to this position and they can catch them off guard because with the medium tanks you don't want to fight with the tank destroyers in the close quarters as it, it is on this position so you want to find yourself some wide place oh there is the other way one shot into the Luve, the Luve misses, the second shot into the Luve and yeah, this Luve couldn't do anything here against the TVP and the Batchet both of them autoloaders, the one shot that he fired he missed on the Batchet and that, that's it, that's what that's all she wrote for the Luve now let's just think about what this Luve did here so when you see that the entirety of the enemy team so the Batchet artillery, Batchet and the TVP are in the position there to well on one and two line what are you doing with your Lule? why are you pushing on that position you cannot win that in any case if you don't have the support of the bigger tanks so the support of the jack tiger or the jack panzer even harder as soon as they saw that the Lule was alone they just rushed him and finished him off that that was a i have to say a stupid move i don't want to insult anybody but that was a really uncalled for from the Lule. he should have done that 
Now the t the sorry the friendly 110 is fighting against the enemy 110. Let us see if that enemy 110 is playing also alone or he brought some friends. He is he going to do the same thing as the Lula did there. So what Patrick and the TVP here are doing here, and also the artillery, the friendly artillery. No, yeah, I was talking about the friendly tanks helping the 110. Yeah, there's the Egg Panzer 100. There is the VK. So the British tier 8 premium medium and they are pushing on the poor 110 now the only thing that can help him is the artillery fortunately the TVP and the Batchats were going from the for the flanking shots onto the enemy team and yeah look at this Batchat I have to say that the friendly Batchat is playing very well here when you consider that this Batchat was just waiting in the enemy team just to get spotted and killed so the TVP and the Batchat were circling around trying to find the flanking shots on the enemy tanks that were last spotted in the enemy base but as you can see they have pushed up since then pushed up into a position from which they can threaten the friendly base now this 110 did a great job here he saw that he cannot win this one he cannot win this uh, engagement against the Air Panzer E100 and against all those medium and heavy tanks there so he decided to just drop back, he did not want to fight them. He dropped back, he, fortunately he had the opportunity to fight off against those tanks to keep them spotted but also keep himself out of the harm's way and he is now in a good position to shoot them into the side. One tank doing a good kill here on the enemy 110. Now I believe he has a shot on the... but the, no, there are this does this on the blind on the FV finishes him off and now goes for the Egg Panzer E100 now he has three shells it is more than enough to go through the pa to the Egg Panzer's armor here parking the Batchet in the optimal position to shoot on the side of the Egg Panzer here finishes off the Egg Panzer the TVP is just around the corner trying to help here unfortunately the, the 110 loses this one but TVP here fighting against the Egg Tiger. Is he going to get the last kill? Here is. Yeah, the artillery finishes him off. That's a GG, and let's take a look at the post game stats. So, a great play here by Hero and a great demonstration of the Batchat abilities. He got a couple of medals like Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, High Caliber, Tank Sniper, Top Gun, and of course the Master Bad Jace Tanker. On team score sheet we can see that he finished first with over 9200 damage, 7 kills and 1447 experience. I have to give a big shout out to the rest of the friendly tanks that were left with Hero at the end. As you can see the TVP got 3500 damage, 4 kills, the 110 did a great job, 1800 damage, 1 kill and the Batchet artillery also a great job, 4600 damage and 2 kills. So between the four of them they have 14 kills and basically all of the enemy HP. And also one thing that I have to mention is that more than half of a team doesn't even have 1000 damage in a tier 10 game. On the detail report you can see that Hero fired 29 shots of which 27 hit the target and 25 penetrated. So great accuracy by him and unfortunate there not to get the Fadins medal at the end. And also even though he fired a couple of premium shells with the premium account he was able to score 67,000 credits. Now at the end a quick summary what we saw in this gameplay now we saw the excellent mobility of the Batchet and using the clip to the fullest when you find the isolated targets. So Hera's tactic in this replay was to hit the enemies hard in one position then relocate and hit them from the other side which proved out to be very useful, a great gameplay here. As always, if you liked the video, like it, if you didn't like it, you can dislike it and leave a comment what you think about the replay and what you think about the better gameplay here. Also, if you don't know what to watch next, you can watch the previous video with the T32, a nice demonstration of the abilities of the tank on the Siegfried line when assaulting. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, you can do it now. I hope you guys like this one and I'll see you in the next one.